Hey, it's Matt here with Replit, and today I'm going to show you how to get started building Streamlit on Replit. And if you're familiar with Streamlit, uh, it's a pure Python front-end application for building interactive demos. And commonly this is in data teams or other professionals trying to create um, data visualizations, displays of information, even just writing markdown or, or relaying text or other information. Streamlit makes that really easy in a framework that's based entirely on Python and markdown. Um, and a Streamlit app is very simple to set up. Um, often it just involves a main.py file, which I'm showing here. Um, the complexity is usually in dis deploying an app like this, but I'm gonna show you how that is really easy on Replit and how you can get this live on the web in just a few minutes. So this is a template and a Replit template, you can think of it like a Git repo in that it's a set of code that you can clone into your own environment that's entirely yours. You can take it with you if you want, you can download the entire directory, um, but that you can modify, customize, and then deploy to your own website. So if I click use template, um, I'll call this uh, Matt's Streamlit. I'm going to fork this into my Replit account, into my own Replit environment. Um, and this template's gonna run automatically. So you can see this is running. Um, the console might show some messages in a second there, but I'm gonna head over to the main.py file where we can see the code. Um, and in just a few seconds, you see the web view is loaded with our Streamlit app. So this is in fact a working app. Um, if we take a peek at the code, we're defining a few columns. So you can see there's a click me button. If I click that, we get a little hello message um, and another uh, joke uh, button. So clicking the joke button uh, gives us a joke. And if I peek at the code, that joke is really just calling a Python function. So when I click button two, we're executing that tell me a joke code. And that's kind of the basis of Streamlit. Um, so you can do things like display information, have graphs, have interactive um, chat modals. You can even build chat bots um, on Streamlit as well. I'll probably release a guide on how to do that shortly. Um, but it's really simple. The hard part often comes in deploying this. And if you're unfamiliar with how to deploy applications, or even if you are familiar with how to deploy applications, um, it usually requires some custom infrastructure, maybe a container. Uh, it's a complicated process. And that means it's there's a large barrier to entry for a lot of people who understand how to write Python, but maybe don't have access to those resources. But Replit makes it simple. And so this template's already pre-configured for you to deploy this application. Um, so heading over to the deploy button, um, I'm gonna deploy this and we'll use a reserved VM, which just means you have your own machine. It's always on, it's always running. You can access it anytime you want. Um, and we'll define a primary domain. By default, uh, the domain defaults to the name of the project and my Replit username. Um, but we'll change that just to be Matt's Streamlit. And um, the build and run commands are pre-configured for this template. We won't concern ourselves with that too much right now. Um, but you can customize those entirely. So if you want to do a different project, if you want a different build commands or different run commands, that's totally available as well. And a web server is the proper um, app type for this um, application. Clicking deploy is going to build this app, push it to its own URL, where it will live, where anybody on the web can visit it. Uh, Replit also has a authentication mechanism. So if you wanted to put this behind a page where only certain people could access it, they would just need Replit accounts, but then you could grant them access on a per account basis and have sort of a pseudo OAuth application um, that's not visible to everybody on the internet, but is visible to certain Replit users. Um, and you can see our deployment is almost done, so it should just be a few more seconds. Um, but some other benefits of Replit, there is real-time multiplayer with this, so you can edit with collaborators in real time. Um, you can invite coworkers, invite teammates, they can come in and you'll see like a Google Docs type uh, real-time editing experience. Um, like I said, you can pull this code, take it anywhere you want to go. You can run scheduled deployments if you wanted functions to trigger on a schedule um, and many more things. So really powerful collaborative editing tooling that makes deploying these applications just as simple as building them. And that's sort of the power of Replit and why um, so many software creators, so many developers, um, and so many professionals who maybe understand a bit of Python, understand a bit of JavaScript, um, and are looking to take the um, initiative to build those applications that they can use across their company are moving to Replit for these types of workflows. And you can see there, the application is starting up on a port, and so it should be available in just one more second. And um, dragging that pane, if you have it pop out to the side, uh, we'll bring it up. 
So our app is live. If I go to this website, um, you can see Matt's Streamlit app is live on the web, uh, and I can get a new joke. <laughs> Not a good joke, but uh, I never said the jokes were good. Um, so I'm Matt with Replit. This has been building and deploying a Streamlit app in just a couple of minutes. Looks like right around five. Um, but until next time, peace.